Hello everybody. Welcome to another uh, Power Director um, series that I'd like to do. Um, so right now I'd like to discuss how we do um, keyframes and what they are, what you can do with them. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there on the web and stuff. Um, they were honestly a little bit confusing when I first started to um, work with them. So. Uh, once I figured it out, I was like, oh, well, that's freaking simple. <laughs> so um, let me show you what's going on. So if you have a picture, could be a picture, could be a certain segment of video clip. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, a picture is pretty easy to show what a keyframe really does. So if we um, take this picture and just go ahead and put it on our video track here. Um, there's a little button here, keyframe. So if you see what's highlighted in blue here, that's going to be that's going to be what's affected by this keyframe setup. So if you only wanted, say, say half of this to be affected by the free keyframe, just go ahead and put a cut, and then you can you can isolate it to which one you want to apply the keyframe to. So uh, let's just go ahead and undo that. Okay, so go ahead and hit keyframe. The first thing to see is this little window here. Um, this is the, if you watch the slider down in the bottom left, it's following along with the video. So this is sort of like your workspace along the length of your video. What we can do here is we can make different things happen automatically. So the different things we can we can mess around with to uh, make happen for us are shown over here in these two drop down buttons. So if we collapse all these buttons, you can see all the different things you can do. So you can do fix and enhance or clip attributes. So if we click this one, you can do color adjustments, white balance, split toning, and HDR effect. So you know you can you can see all these different things that are included in each category. Um, and it really depends on, you know, what you, what you're trying to make happen, what effect you're trying to get in your video or your picture, you know, to tell you which one of these you would want to change. Um, but then also there's clip attributes, so you could change the position of the picture. You could change the height and the width of the picture or the video. Um, you know, there's all these different, all these different, um, options that you can do. So once I show you how to use a keyframe, you can apply it to anything that you see in here. So, uh, one easy way to show is, um, so we're at the beginning of our video, our sliders all the way over to the left of our workspace in here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make the exposure change over time. So we can add a keyframe here and you can see it popped up right here. It's hard to see because it's literally right at the beginning of the video. So then we put a keyframe for exposure. So exposure is the only thing that's going to be affected by this keyframe, however long we set it to be. So let's say when you set a keyframe, you're setting a starting point. So here, if we want the exposure to start out what looks to be normal, then we can just leave it alone. But if we want it to start out, say, fully unexposed, then this keyframe is now going to start totally unexposed at this setting. Now, let's go all the way to the end of the video, 
or picture. And let's set another keyframe. So just hit this little yellow button that corresponds to the setting you want to change. You can you can see barely that it showed up over here on the on the far edge. Anyways, you can see it there. So now let's set the exposure to full on. Okay, now when we play this picture can see what's going to happen over here in the right, over here. So now let's let's hit play, and you can see that over the length of the, the picture, the time between keyframes, it's gonna it's gonna keep upping that exposure uh, every so many frames. So now. Let's see, uh, let's try hue, because hue is kind of cool. So let's add a keyframe right here at the beginning, right in line with the exposure keyframe. Let's go all the way to the end. And let's add another keyframe and tell it we want it to be a full hue when it gets to this keyframe. So at the first keyframe, we want it to be all the way set to the left and then at the last keyframe we want it to be all the way set to the right now you notice that no other settings are changed because we didn't define any keyframes for those settings so let's go ahead and play this video and I'll uh, show you what's going to happen so it's changing the exposure and the hue over time automatically and really this is what keyframes do uh, there's other neat little things you can do with keyframes so let's leave that that color adjustment and let's go to clip attributes so um, one cool thing I like to do with keyframes is rotation so let's say at the beginning of the clip we're going to set a keyframe and then we're going to tell it we want it to start at zero degrees so it's it's going to start just like this and then we'll go all the way to the end And we'll set another keyframe. We'll tell it we want it to be 180. So now let's watch what happens. The exposure is changing, the hue is changing, and the rotation of the, the picture or video is also changing. And it gets all the way to the end, and it'll be perfect 90 degrees. 180, sorry, 180. So now, let's undo... Let's undo that last keyframe. Let's go to... Right in the middle, 5 seconds. So we'll clip down a couple frames. So we're... Well, I think this is longer than 10 seconds. It's 15, so... Oh, right in there somewhere, it's about the middle. So now let's say in the middle, we'll go for 180. And then at the end, we'll go 
So now let's see what happens. Everything still seems to be changing like we defined it to be. It hits the middle 180. Comes all the way back around to 360. Now, that took a lot of time to do because this is a 15 second clip. So, you know, you could do the math on it and you could say, you could divide um, degrees by seconds. So, the picture is going to rotate 360 degrees over 15 seconds. And then you could say, you know, it's going to spin at a rate of two degrees per second or something like that. Um, well, if you want it to go faster, then you would just have to, uh, so we'll say remove keyframe. It's got me back in there. Okay. Alright, here we go. So we'll say remove keyframe. And instead of this being 180, we'll put this at 360. So now it's going to spin twice as fast. And then see we don't have any keyframes set afterwards. So it just stays at whatever setting the last keyframe was. So if we if we add another keyframe really close, then we say 360. Then watch what happens. It spins really fast. So I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much you know what keyframes can do. Um, there's there's other more advanced things that you can do with keyframes that we can uh, get into in a different video if that's something that you would like to see. Uh, just let me know. Uh, but until next time, uh, I hope this helps, guys. Um, like I said, I watched a lot of tutorial videos videos and articles on what are keyframes and whatnot and it's just I don't know it never clicked until I started messing around with it myself the, all the tutorials I've seen seem to be pretty confusing so you know you have a keyframe you set a start point you change different things that you want to the rotation of the picture video the color the hue the exposure so yeah that's keyframes guys um, let me know uh, feedback if you want to see some different things um, until next time later